This video is the third video in the series you know, where I went and showed the Indian petroglyphs and the uh, rock formations, Sid and Charlie. And uh, this one I wanted to show a little bit of detail on this episode of my sleeping setup because I hung from a hammock and, you know, we had temperatures zero, below zero actually, wind, wind chill, winds through the night. I was up on a ridge. So this kind of details just a little bit of how I laid out my layers, how I kind of put everything together. And, um, and it's just using the same materials I always use for, for my sleeping setup. Our, our gear for insul insulating primarily is called Osni. And so it's an Osni cloak or it's an Osni top quilt. Or sometimes we just simply call it Osni blanket. It's the same thing. So let me, let me tell you what Osni is, first of all. So it's O-S-N-I. Osni. That is a Lakota Indian word which means cold weather. So Osni means cold weather. Well, so this was my bed last night. I uh, decided to do a hammock hang. Most of the time in the winter time, I use basically all these very same materials and go to the ground, like underneath one of these junipers or pines or something like that. But I decided to do a hang and uh, I slept pretty, pretty darn nice, pretty comfortable. To show you what I've got in a little more detail, Osni. That is a Lakota Indian word, which means cold weather. The first item here is the uh, Osni, it's called the Osni top quilt. I also refer it to an Osni blanket sometimes. So on the bottom right here is the, is the beast, which is our, that's our foam sleeping pad. It's covered with an open mesh and it's three inches thick. And down each side, it has snaps like this right here. And I don't use the snaps typically when I go into the poncho set up the hammock. I just lay it in there and let the hammock hold it in place. What I decided to do last night is my top quilt, my Osni top quilt, it has snaps down one side itself. So we got the blanket here. It's eight feet long. And down one side, down one side, there's a set of snaps. So instead of snapping those to the poncho, to the poncho here like I normally do, I snap those snaps to the beast. So the reason I did that is because when I'm laying in the hammock, if I snap the top quilt to the poncho, there's a little, there can be a little bit of a gap there where there's no blanket. So there's really, there's, so there's not, the, not as much insulation there, even though there is the under quilt that's on here, but I, I still don't have as much. And usually I wind up just tucking some of the top quilt down in there to cover that. But I thought, why not snap it to the beast? Then it's snapped all the way down low and it comes up. Then the poncho and the under quilt overwrap all of that. You can choose two colors for the blanket. Down one side, it has snaps. It's eight feet long. Well, you can see the width right here. All right, and it comes with a mesh bag like this. Now here's the beast. So you see down, they match this side. Both sides have snaps down the edges. There's one, there's four D-rings uh, around the sides. 
that's where you can connect uh, and this comes with tent, tent tube adapters so you can actually lay this on the ground and put tent poles in it throw a tarp over that and basically turn this whole thing into a tent with an integrated sleeping pad okay so that's that then on the underneath we have the Osni cloak the Osni cloak is actually originated as a poncho liner it uses Climate Shield Apex as the insulation and uh, everything I have is using 3.6 ounce Apex see one of the nice things is the Osni cloak it uses the snaps in the poncho to snap to it so I'm not having to rig up any kind of elaborate kind of suspension to hold this in place the other thing is the other thing is this is full length this is this is the same length as your poncho so most under quilts only cover the trunk of your body this does all the way so it gives you a little more protection now at this point what I've got left is my poncho it's got dry this one has the quick connect option so its cords are I'm gonna pull a, there's a little toggle I use to connect this to the tree suspension but you see this Dyneema cord right here is built in this is optional it's Dyneema cord with an eye in each end and uh, And then if you order that option, it's got a little set of snaps on the end of each side of the drawstring channel here. And basically what happens is that eye right there is placed in here and the snap snaps inside the eye. And when I pull on it, it draws it inside of there. So that way that cord is stored inside the drawstring channel. So I can wear it as a poncho and I got the drawstring inside there already. Here's the, the hood of the poncho. People always want to, what do you do with the hood? Well, the hood gets cinched up and I'll throw gloves my lantern, you know, whatever bags, gear bags, and all that stuff. I just store those, stow those inside of there. That makes about a one gallon pouch or pocket that I can store stuff in. That way I can take advantage of the hood even when I'm not using it as a poncho. And in the next uh, series of videos you're going to see after this one, the next ones that will be uploading will um, have um, some detail about using the very same system to sleep on the ground, on the frozen ground. And same kind of temperature con conditions and all that. Be enough that I could sleep just with that. We're down about 10 degrees right now. Snap. The Osni cloak over top of the Osni blanket over top of the beast. It's awesome. I am so toasty warm in here. And it's somewhere just above zero outside. All right, so pretty much I tried to keep my coat and my boots and stuff under the covers a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know. And here we are. I don't know if you see it. Well, leaving the truck behind now, tromping through the snow. I'm heading out for this, what I consider one of the best, not the best, but one of the best overlooks on the San Rafael.